Hi guys, before we get the video started today, don't forget to like and subscribe down here and hit the notification bell to stay tuned on all of our latest videos. Hi guys, Ranger Ranger here with a review and today an unboxing. So we've got our Mighty Morphin Lord Zed and Rita here. Here's the front of the box, the side of the box, the other side of the box, and the back of the box. All right, look at the detail on these guys here. He comes with his hands, his bomb to make the monsters grow, both the staffs, his chaos crystal, the love potion that Rita used on him. Rita comes with a bouquet and her wedding cake and her staff. So let's open them up. We've got our scissors here, very carefully. Let's start with Lord Zed. Wow, so that is that is really cool. So he's got his tubes here, and there's some play to them, so they aren't necessarily just stiff tubes, so they'll, they'll move around with him. We've got articulation in the knees, and he does have the double-jointed knees. Oh, this guy popped out right here. Okay, so I see he, they, they just kind of pop in and out. All right, I see how those work now. These kind of just pop in and out. These guys right here, you just take these out. Just kind of like little plugs on those. And he pops in to the side of his knee right there. So it seems like those like kind of like to pop in and out when you adjust his knees. So you've got the articulation in the feet. There's actually doesn't seem to be as much articulation in, in his feet as, well, I guess they do, they do go side to side and forward and backwards. He's got articulation in the elbows and in the wrists. He has up down articulation in the head. Does he have side to side? And he does have side to side. Okay. You kind of have to lift his head up a little bit to get that. Perfect. No screws in the back and he just looks great. Detail in the Z. Very nice. Fully painted. I kind of like the different, there's like different shades of red in his muscles here. I, kinda, I like that. And the brain is also a different shade of red. So I, I like the, it's almost like some browns in there and some reds. I really like that. So let's get our Rita out. Let's take an up close look at her. Detail in the face. Her lips are painted correctly, which is nice. So she doesn't have a weird look on her face. Plastic for the hair. And the, the dress is fabric, so that's not plastic. This uh, skirt on the back, part right here is, that's part of her bustier, is plastic. Now her arms, I don't think that there is, I don't think she has elbow articulation. Does she not have elbow articulation? Oh, she does have elbow articulation. I'm not sure, I'd have to look at that. Well, I kind of don't want to bend it. So, so far, it doesn't seem like she does has much elbow articulation. Maybe it's there. Maybe it isn't that, I have, probably have to pull this back. Let's pull this back and see. There is a little bit of elbow articulation. Now, that looks like that's just gonna pop out. So there really isn't much there for elbow articulation, at least in mine anyway, which is all right. So much detail here. So we've got articulation in the ankles and in the feet and in the wrists and her head does move up and down and side to side. So let's look at their accessories here. First, we've got Zed's lightning bolt. Kind of reminds me of the, the Billy one. And I suppose that it's meant to go around his Z staff. So let's take a look at his Z staff, his Zed staff. I believe on the legacy, this tip was turned the other way. I believe that this is actually screen accurate compared to the legacy release of Zed. And like I said, there was less paint on Zed in the legacy release and he didn't have the tubes. So you could put the lightning bolt at this end or you could put it at this end. So he's shooting out the lightning. These effects pieces are very cool. Very cool, very unique. Let's check out Rita's staff. Does anyone know whether Pandora had a name for her staff in the Sentai? Let us know in the comment section. So let's check out this thing. Wow, this thing's just nice and detailed. 
painted and molded. That just looks great. Let's see what this lightning effect looks like on hers, which also looks very cool as well on hers. I really like that. That looks really good on hers. Don't they just look like the happy couple? Speaking of happy couples, let's take a look at their wedding cake. I love the details that they put in the little Zed and Rita at the top. Very cute, very evil. So she also comes with her bouquet, her bouquet there. Bouquet, bouquet, what have you, potato, potato. So next thing we're gonna take a look at is his little grenade bomb that he throws to make the monsters grow. That's very cool. I never thought that we'd actually get one of these. And it's very cool, he comes with the different hands so he can actually hold it. Wow, that is just really cool. So Zed also comes with this green chaos crystal. I believe he used this to make his dark rangers. So he could also be holding that in his hands. And the last item is Rita's love potion that she used on Zed in the three-parter where the rangers go to Australia. That they, I believe they also shot that during the making of Power Rangers the movie. I got it for sale at GameStop, so I didn't actually pay the $49.99, I paid $39.99. So it was a great deal on these guys at GameStop right now, if you guys go get them. It's actually a great deal for all the accessories that these guys come with. Let us know your guys' favorite Zed and Rita moment. I know I always loved how Zed was introduced. Season two was just very ominous with his showing up and, and her being afraid of Zed really kind of showed his status in the realm of Power Rangers. So that was really exciting time, season two. We have a giveaway coming up when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be doing some more MMPR villains here coming up. So stay tuned for those. Again, I'm the Ranting Ranger. Have a good night. I have such a headache.